Hi Crafty Kids, how are you today? Um, we're going to do, I've uh, three things to show you today actually and I've got my very own cameraman today who's helping me, my son Jack, so thank you Jack for this. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a French artist called Henri Matisse and when he was very elderly and not very well, he decided that he was not going to paint anymore but he was going to paint with scissors. Some of you have done this before, but normally when I say it to the crafty kids, they say, what, you can't paint with scissors, but you can. So I'm going to show you some of his work. Um, you might be familiar with some of it. It's very kind of collage-y. And what he does is he uses a huge big pair of scissors. He came from um, a lineage of um, weavers. And so he was very, very good um, at cutting, like a tailor. If you look up on YouTube and look at Henri Matisse on YouTube, you'll see him cutting with scissors that are about that long. Um, so these are some of his beautiful painting with scissors collages that he did. Uh, some of them are, are on black backgrounds green and red and this is my favorite I love that all those lovely colors so um the best thing to do is to gather up as many maybe if you've got some old pieces scrap pieces of colored paper um and you're going to try and get that shape as best you can so you just get your scissors and the reason he called it painting with scissors is because he made it look like he'd used a brush, but in fact, he was just using his scissors um, to cut out fabulous shapes. And this made him really happy because he was in quite a lot of pain at this point. And he said this is like his second lease of life when he started doing this. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut out a few here and I've stuck a few here on some white paper. So you can decide, what he did was he pinned them on his paper or his canvas until he was completely happy with how it looked. So you can just play about with it until you're completely happy where you want all your pieces to go. So that is our homage to Henri Matisse and his painting with scissors, okay? And I recommend you do look it up on YouTube and see him. He's a very old man sitting in a wheelchair um, cutting wonderful pieces of collage and colour. Okay, so that's the first thing. Secondly, I saw this online the other day and I thought it was really cool. Um, if you get your handy handy at home to cut out a template, it could just be a piece of paper or a cardboard. So I've got a heart and I've got a butterfly. And you could take these out on your walks uh, to the forest, if you're going to the trees for, for a nice walk and, uh, amongst all the trees and the greenery and the flowers that we have or at the beach. And you just put these up against each different piece of nature and see your butterfly change colour on your heart or if you want to do something at home you could get your A4 pieces of paper and do some different patterns on them and then you could change your heart from squiggles to something like that you could make a little a few different patterns and you could do your different patterns. Are you getting that all right, Jack? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Different patterns there. So you can make a good few, especially the sun's not out at the moment. So you could stay in. It's a little bit chilly. I'm a bit chilly anyway. So you could do a few pictures, pat nice patterns for your nice template. And when you do go for your walk, you can take these with you and put them up against some nice greenery or flowers. The third thing is still a kind of French theme because in France they have the most beautiful 
lavender fields. So I've just got some lavender from my garden and I've just, <sighs> if you had smell of vision you'd be able to smell how lovely that is. And some of you, my crafty kids, have made these before. So it's just a little bit of fabric cut into a square. If you don't have any fabric, you can use kitchen towel. And then you just tuck them in, make a little, a wee porky bag, as they say in Glasgow, a wee porky bag. And make your little bag like that. So that's it elastic band that's gone round and then we just get a nice piece of ribbon and then you put it in with your knickers and you make the knickers smell lovely um, or you could put it by your bed at night time and have a lovely lavender little pouch there so there's three nice things to be getting on with um, I hope you're all well and I miss you loads and what do we say? Wash your hands!